Fridays. This is Tacoma Comics, and I am here today with a full run that I had to get, I had to collect. When it came out in 1977, I knew nothing of it. I was very big into the property that it's about, but I was not into comics yet. Uh, this is a run where I had a few keys, but um, oh, about four or five years ago, I decided to really, really get at it. Uh, if you're not familiar with this program, Full Run Fridays is me showing off runs that I have collected and put together, not necessarily runs that I read as they were coming out, but though some of them are, but is me going back into back issue bins, making trades and purchases and eBay and all that, just to complete runs because I love full runs. That's what I'm about. That's what I enjoy. That's what brings me joy as a collector. Some of you may know that disease. Others of you may not necessarily um, feel the same way, and that's okay. We all collect in our own way. Every way is valid, um, but without much ado, further ado, here we go. I started off with this gem in a 9-2. Uh, I traded um, comic book NYC Kavi. I traded him a bunch of toys that I just did not have room in this room for, uh, and a little bit of money, and he gave me this 9-2 slabbed uh, copy of issue one. I have seen some issue ones that were beat up or like reprints or Whitman's that were like, you know, 2030 condition raw and I could have gotten them for $10, $20, but I'm super happy to have this to kick off the whole thing. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this story in depth the way I have with some of the other, uh, um, the other runs that I've done just because it would take forever. I will say most of these are in beautiful condition, and that's because large portions of them I bought uh, from Comic Head 84 Kenny. Kenny gave me some beautiful conditions, so especially the ones like the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. Um, those aren't as well known. There's not a lot of keys up there until you just get to the hard to find ones later on. Um, and, uh, you know, if I had like issue 67, but I could get issue 60 through 70 from him, I would easily buy that and uh, get rid of the rest of them. So the first six issues, and by the way, that's just such a <laughs> hysterical chewy. Uh, it looks like I'm getting a lot of glare here. The first six issues uh, told the actual story of what became later known as episode four, A New Hope, if you were around my time you know that uh, it was just called Star Wars. It was never called Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. It was just called Star Wars. That's okay. So we got seven, which I believe um, has a cameo of, no, eight is the cameo of Jackson, I think. And then nine is the first full Jackson. Um, a lot of Han Solo on these covers. Uh, they certainly took liberties with the outfits and the way some of these looked, not very Troid accurate um, R2-D2s and uh, you know everybody can stand in space and survive. Here's a much different Chewie on issue 13 uh, and then here's a much different Chewie on issue 14. Uh, his beard hair got longer there and you'll see lots of stuff like that and that's okay. Um, it's just how it is. Look at another chunk here. Um, so in this one they have to have face masks in space. Uh, here is 16, first uh, appearance of Violet Valance. I am not a fan of him. Um, I've been reading the Bounty Hunters series since it came out. I think I stopped it at issue 38. I finally told my LCS, oh, I've had enough. And of course, there's so many crossovers that I'm probably going to get them anyway. But I just had to say no, 17 and 18. Floating heads on 19 with, again, a different looking Chewy. Um... There's issue 20 for you. Uh, we got 21 and 22, Shadow of a Dark Lord. Uh, looks like Chewie and Han are doing some jujitsu here in space in issue 22. 23, 
24 where Ben Kenobi has adopted purple robes. Um, then there's 25, 26, and now we get into full yellow hair Luke, 27, more Han and Chewie, 28. Not a lot of Leia, not as much as you would like. Um, uh, as I say that, then you know, now have trapped in an Imperial stronghold. 30, do, 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 do. Let's see what else we got here. 31, 32, 33, fighting in space with no helmets. I love that. And then there's 34, Sabre. 35, 36, 37, 38. And now we start the story of Empire Strikes Back. 39 is the attack on Hoth. 40, 41, 41. Oh, I almost forgot about this. Make sure the dog's not here as I roll backwards. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. 42. First mention of Mandalorians. That's Ben Shaft on the cover. Um, though I believe Boba Fett is in it. That's not Ben Sh Or that is Boba Fett. It's part of Mountain Hunters. That's the story of Ben Shaft and the Mandalorians in um, 68. I believe I got that right. Not 100% positive. First Lando. And then right here we get... I consider some really, really cool artwork. There are some great covers on the later ones of these. Um, not on all of them for sure. 45 and 46, and as I'm feeling this, feels like I need to start rebagging with issue 43. Looks like I started rebagging this and never finished rebagging all of them, or maybe just a few in the middle, because some of these feel like they're my new bags again. Um, 47 is just this silly cover. Did a lot of silly stuff with the droids. Uh, and then possibly tall Leia in 48. Now, we've got The Last Jedi right here. Uh, when the movie The Last Jedi was announced, this book like jumped in sales, even though it has nothing to do with the movie. There's 50, first um, appearance of IG-88. I believe it's a cameo. But again, I love this cover, much different in tone than the other covers you see. 51. And 52. You'll notice the majority of these are newsstands, which, you know, being in good condition, 53 and 54 is cool. But because the series came out between 1977 and like 1980 something, they should all be newsstands. Um, it would be very rare to find direct at that age. Um, the only rare thing about these being newsstands is that they're all in great condition. And for that, I thank Kenny Comiket 84. 55. 56, 57, 58. These again are just making up stories within the Star Wars universe that now, of course, are canon. 59, 60, 61, 62 is a really cool cover. Pariah. Very upset about being called a pariah. 63, 64, Luke Skywalker, I have come for you. Ah! Golroth, never forget, 65, 66. I know that I have missed some uh, minor keys like the Cloud Riders. 67, I already showed you 68 on the... Uh, how do I do this backwards? There we go. 68 and 42. Uh, it's so hard doing it backwards. There you go. Where was I? 67. 69. 70. About two-thirds of the way through. Nice Lando cover. 71. 72. Going full uh, Star Trek here with like purple chicks. 73. 74. That one looks like it could use an upgrade in quality. 
75, 76. Here's a gray cover again, 77, 78. The dog is back on the floor behind me. Careful not to run over her head. 79, 80. I do not remember why this next one is a key, but it seems to be a pretty popular one. I just think it's a great, great cover. Um, much more accurate representation, but not using that photorealism that the Star Wars 2015 series started using. That was a little crazy. 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, I think that was 88 was a key there, and that 87 looks a lot like that 81 I just showed you, 89, 90, got a little corner crunch down there by the word choice, now um, this one is reminiscent of the movie Solo, but not a great cover. 91, and then this is an amazing Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Sienkiewicz, excuse me. Um, love his work. Let me show that for a little while longer. Just absolutely love that work. Very, very cool. Good job, Bill. Uh, last, the second to last chunk, I've got the annuals down there. Now, if you see these, Anything over 100 in good condition are collectible, not because they're keys, just because they're hard to find. Um, there's 93. You all know, you all know the Ewoks. 94. More Sienkiewicz, 95. I think that's a key, if I'm not mistaken. 96. 97. And more Sienkiewicz. Ninety nine, one hundred again. Really nice portrait cover. And I, I guarantee I have not read all these, nor probably will I. Like I said, that's okay. Collect how you like. I, I do not claim to have read every comic in this room. I've read thousands of comics in my life, and I'm, I'm comfortable with that and the pace at which I go. Somebody said, look at your to do your to read box or to TBR box. Your to be red box 105 106 as treasures awaiting you not as something you have to get through and that just made me feel all comfy inside that's the last issue 107 um, because I often look at my to be red piles there's one there there's one there there's one upstairs and there's some over there as like onerous things I have to get through and that's you know that defeats the purpose and so I'm glad the person who told me that. There's issue one, sorry, annual one, annual two. And then finally, I think this again is a Sinkovich, Sinkovich. I think it's Sinkovich, but I'm um, not sure. Annual number three. Not sure if that's him. I'm not sure the proper pronunciation of his name. I'm sure he's heard it both ways enough that he doesn't mind as long as you're trying to do well by him. And that is it for Full Run Friday, Episode 6. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you collect any Star Wars runs. And thanks for hanging out with me.